This is a Bally Space Flight arcade game from 1969. For 25 cents, you get five attempts at landing on the moon. Your lunar module will descend towards the moon's surface that is constantly rotating. And there are five craters. Each one lights up at different times. And you have to land, get your little flame to go into the hole of the crater, and you get a successful landing. The game starts out with five landings, but if you're successful, you can get awarded extra landing attempts up to nine landings total. Right now, I'm going to have a couple friends show you how to play the game. We got four landings now. Stand by for separation. The Eagle has wings. Altitude 50,000 feet. Eagle, you can see why. Game over. That's it. I'm only Saturn right at this time. <laughs> You did it, Tony? Yay! You the astronaut. Give him a thumbs up. Come on, right. one more. Hand on the joystick. There you go. <laughs> What's this? Right kid. <laughs> you did, you did. That is so cool. How many did you get? You got uh, eight? I think I got eight, yeah. Six. Yeah. Six? I liked eight better. <laughs> <laughs> that is really impressive. I, I, I'm really impressed. This is the eight track player out of the space flight game. It connects up to the machine with a six pin Jones connector. And when the game starts, 110 volts AC is put on two of these pins and drives the motor which drives the tape deck. On the tape there are two tracks or I should say uh, one track with two channels left and right from a stereo channel but the left hand side has one type of message which is your descent message and uh, if you don't make a successful landing you get the abort message. All of that is on one of the channels of your stereo. Then on the other channel is the OK message. So if you have a successful landing, this machine, this tape deck, has to be able to switch halfway through playing the descent message. And instead of playing a, a bad message, a board message, you have to switch over to playing a landing OK message. So the way that's done is there's contacts in the moon's surface and if it makes a contact it sends a voltage on another one of these pins and it energizes a relay when the relay energizes then it moves over to the other channel of the the two channel stereo system and plays the rest of the message being okay uh, this tape deck is very unique from one standpoint and that is that recorded on this tape every 18 seconds there's a one kilohertz tone burst. It lasts about a second and a half, two seconds. And that tone burst, you don't hear. It doesn't play it out to the speakers. But that one kilohertz tone is detected by this board right here. And when that tone occurs, that sends a signal out 
onto yet another pin on this six pin Jones connector. It sends a signal out and tells the lunar module to start descending. So the whole entire game is synchronized and controlled from this tape deck and from a tone on this tape. So if this board is shot or if the tape is bad, the game isn't going to play. So I designed and built this solid state replacement unit and it replicates all of the original functions of the original tape deck. And that is uh, every 18 seconds it will start the lunar module descending it will play the message as the lunar module is descending towards the moon surface and if you're not successful you'll get the abort message if you are successful you'll get the landing okay message and I've also added some extra features that uh, I'll show you in a minute uh, you can see that I've got the same six pin Jones connector so this unit will plug in exactly where the old tape deck went there's no modifications or, or wiring changes, nothing needs to be done to your machine. Just uh, unplug the old tape deck and plug this in. There's a total of eight minutes worth of messages, 42 individual messages that was on the original tape and all 42 messages are in these chips now. I'll power the machine up and the first feature you'll notice is that it will play a game power up uh, self-test message to let you know everything's okay. This is something that the original 8-track tape didn't do. We read you loud and clear. The clock is running. All systems are go. So that's one of the 42 messages that are inside the unit and it plays it just to let you know the thing's powered up. If at any time you want to hear a message and make sure the thing's working, you can just press the start button and press the stop button if you want to stop it. Prepare for separation. We have separation. You are go for landing. Repeat, go for landing. You can stop it and go on to the next message. Touchdown, touchdown, A-OK. -okay. So all of the messages are stored in there in sequential order and the program that I wrote for the microcontroller simply goes through and accesses each message when it needs to, whether uh, depending on whether your, your landing is successful or not. Additional features of my replacement unit include the ability to watch all of the signals going in and out on this wiring harness. When the game starts, there is a Q signal, what's called Q, C-U-E, that gets sent out and the Q is that original one kilohertz tone on the A-track tape that we don't need anymore because the microcontroller does it all. The Q signal is sent out to start the lunar module descending. There's a yellow LED right here that will light for one and a half seconds while it's sending out the Q signal. So you can tell that the message is being sent. Then the lunar module will start to descend and if the landing is successful and you make it into one of the holes and close the contact switch on the moon's surface, you will light up the green LED, which means landing OK. So you can tell that all the contacts on the moon's surface are working and all the wiring back to this board. Then a third indicator light is a neon lamp that's right here. And that neon lamp lights up when you put 110 volts onto two wires, the black and white wire, because the original 8-track tape used 110 in order to run the motor. So I'm detecting the fact that 110 volts is placed on those wires and that tells the uh, unit to start playing its message and to send out the cue signal. So I'll start up the game here and you can watch these lights happen. Okay, there's the Stand neon and the ego has wings. I'll cheat now here by closing the switch. There's the green LED. Means you've landed. Now watch for the yellow to come on when we start descending. You're looking good for separation. Right there. Yellow LED was on. You're going right down US 1. Cabin pressurization reading normal. And I'll close the contact switch again. Okay. Good to go. Good to go. Fantastic. Inside the cabinet, there's a couple cute features. That flashing light you see right in front of you, 
is actually a uh, bulb behind the scenery panel. And there's a couple of them, three of them in here, and it makes it look like the stars are flickering out in the distance. You've got a cute little radar scope there for oscilloscope, and your radar's over here. Here's a close up for you. You are undone. You go fucking drink. You're gold. You're gold. I'm going to cheat. Watch this. Hey. You go get it. I'll see you now.